Now coming to the uh, written intercol of foreign body situations. Uh, <coughs> first case, uh, uh, RIB with clear lens. Uh, basically, lens uh, uh, RIB was uh, encapsulated and it was uh, inferiorly. So, I, uh, by the cutter, you have to remove the encapsulated part and trim the uh, whole uh, in capsule, remove all the additions. Now, the IOL has uh, came to the posterior pole. Now, uh, I, you have to, while uh, the, this lens is very clear, so a uh, patient is young, you have to extend, uh, convert one port to 20 gauge, use basically uh, PFCL to protect the macula. Now, I'm using magnet to remove this retained kind of foreign body and uh, just uh, I'm holding it with the help of forcep with the other hand. Now, again, I'm using another forcep by handset technique, but sometimes this type of hiccup situation can happen. But don't worry, you have injected PFCL. That is the role of PFCL to put grip protection over the macula to prevent the damage of the macula. Now, with the help of this magnet, I am removing it, removing it, and uh, just uh, I am to I want to say uh, tell you one thing: you should not hesitate to give extend the scleral uh, uh, wound uh, in case of 20 gauge surgeries, uh, 20 gauge uh, uh, cases. Uh, like uh, again, you have to remove the PFCL, do uh, suture. And uh, like in this situation, there is metallic RIB with aphakia. Uh, in ultrasonography, uh, RIB was found to be in subretinal space, inferior temporal periphery. Uh, after clearing all the vitreous hemorrhage, just see the uh, RIB was uh, it's subretinal. It's not so obvious, so you have to need, uh, create a break over that area and try to prolapse the uh, this thing uh, RIB uh, into the vitreous cavity. Again, using the magnet and uh, previous uh, here in this case I have done the lensectomy so uh, through the pupillary area I am uh, removing trying to remove it with the help of other another magnet and from the scleral wound I removed it. <coughs> now again you have to do laser around the uh, that uh, RIB site. Now is the case of fakie case with cataract. The C there is yellow, capsule is yellowish that means there is early sclerosis changes. So, you have to do lines, phaco emulsification. Lens was very soft, so I did uh, lens aspiration only. And after uh, aspirating the all lens matter, I found one, uh, this rent is there, uh, small opening. So, now I'm doing vitrectomy and trying to dislodge uh, the subretinal, uh, partially embedded uh, foreign body uh, from the retina. Here in this case, I am using 24 gauge needle bent at the tip, uh, bent in such a way uh, so that it can pass through the cannula and it can easily dislodge the RIB from the uh, from its subretinal part. The partially it, is, it was in the vitreous cavity, partially in the retina. Now uh, you have to use uh, the cutter to uh, to uh, to, uh, to hold the, uh, this RIB uh, by the suction of the cutter. Now this. With the self suction of the cutter, I am just lifting up the RFB through the trying to prolapse it through the rent area by using magnet. In this stage, you should not uh, use suction of the cutter, basically, the, you will damage the posterior capsule. Now, through that uh, cataract uh, wound, I have removed the, this RFB. It was not that big. So, now this is the time to inject the IUL. You should not place the IUL. Uh, previously after doing just after doing cataract you should always use this rent area to remove the IOL. Lot of pigmentary ch changes happened already so I did laser around the, uh, that site of RIB. It's a case of endothermal tissue uh, metallic RIB. Uh, RIB was a uh, lot of membranes were there around the RIB. I just freed it and using suction of the uh, back plus needle and uh, previously I did uh, lensectomy so through this uh, this area, I am removing the magnet, uh, removing the foreign body with the help of another magnet and you should extend the uh, limbal wound carefully. Now, done. Now, you should uh, do laser around the uh, break and use uh, silicon oil at the end of surgery. So, take home message in RIB, on all cases of RIB, if it is a, scare, if it is a uh, like uh, fakie case, clear lens and pseudo fake case, try to remove the RIB through the scleral wound. If it is a fakie case, try to remove RIB through the pupillary area. And if it is a cataract with RIB like situation, try to do fecal immersification and try to uh, 
remove the uh, this use the rent area to remove the RIB. Thank you. Thank you.